Hey everybody. <laughs> I am so excited and honored to be here with Jamil. <laughs> First of all, I think we connected maybe like three years Yo, ago. Maybe more than that. My son, sorry if y'all don't know. <laughs> my son is five, so yeah, it actually been four years ago. Ooh. So he was one of my first trainers. <laughs> and then I think I had a foot injury yes, and something happened yes, and I had to point. stop. Yes, my foot, but I have absolutely, I know, <laughs> Jamil is just one of those people, you know guys how I am, people that I align with, like it's always layers, right? And so he's more than just a personal trainer. And we're here to talk about really some huge accomplishments of yes. starting his own yes. thing here. So he's gonna talk about that. But of course, this is Pivotal Moments. So Jamil, I'm gonna have you just introduce yourself. Of course, I've just said my spiel, but <laughs> <laughs> tell us you. a little bit about who you are. All right, well, hello once again, everybody. My name is Jamil Antonio Moore. I am the owner of Physique Elite, okay? <laughs> um, just a little bit about me. Um, I love fitness, I love health, I like mental, I love spirituality, I love just doing it, honestly. Um, to kind of fill you in on everything about me for the most part, I do do bodybuilding, um, weight loss, mixed martial arts, rehab, you name it, I've done it, okay, or I do it. Um, and to speak real quick on that, and where I say it was a pivotal moment for me, honestly, was at export um where like again we met up <laughs> uh, and same thing she's big on that i'm a big buy person i'm big on the alignment i went to that challenge okay so with that being stated one of the things about physically is normally in the gym people have this mindset that either a trainer has to be a bodybuilding trainer a uh, athletic trainer, boxing trainer, all these different things, when that's not so much true, okay? So I remember there's a guy, um, Dennis, that I looked up to, and he stated, he said, you're the next, you're gonna be the next, the future of fitness. And it really hit on to me because to me, that man was the GOAT, you know? He was very humble. Now the biggest concept is he, no matter what he did, he was humble. So I love that about it, but with that, I understood, I said, wait, hold on. Why do I have to be just the athletic guy? Mm. When I understood that, hold on, first off, knowledge is power. That's something that no one will ever be able to take from me, her, or you, right? So I understood this, okay, well, if I can go get my certification for everything, what stops anybody from coming to me, okay? So that's, with the big concept. Next concept, and I know this is long, um, to jump into the next where the vision was, okay? So to be honest, um, I work for different companies, and I noticed, why am I making all of these other companies, honestly, you could take it whatever way you want, rich. Yeah. And I'm being drained, I'm doing all these things, and I have a guideline, I can't do this, I can't do that, when at the end of the day, hold on, if they're limiting me for their goals, I need to take a step back out of that, right? So honestly, I left fitness, I went to retail, came managers, easy things like that. Then I noticed every day I had an itch. Strong. Now that itch was, I couldn't go a day without helping someone. I don't care if it was physically, I don't care if it was mentally or just spiritually. I needed to do that. That was, no, I don't think you really understand. I needed to do that, okay? So, long story short, um, a lot of people kept saying like, hey, well, you know, you can go to any gym and honestly be a trainer. I had the gyms coming back to me, hey, come train, come whatever. Then something just in me was just like, okay, well, you're gonna limit yourself again. 32 now, been doing the training since I was 21, 20 in college and stuff like that. And um, with that being stated, I said, okay, well now you blocking your own blessings, bro. How about that? Period. So 
Anyway, um, fast forward a couple of years later, obviously everyone know COVID hit. Yeah. People had to do certain things or whatever else to make it. So I had mouths to feed. Yeah. Um, I had that itch to make sure. So honestly, I started doing training outside, different places. I would not stop the hustle. I would keep pushing, especially during the COVID because I did not really notice that concept. People were mentally going off because of that, okay? Mm -hmm. So fast forward, um, one of my clients, um, Nikki, she came to me and she stated, she was just like, look, I know your vision. I've seen your vision. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go back to the gyms or anything else? I said, because for what? I'm going to do the same concept and some way it was meant for me to be more, right? So she offered, she said, look, I know you've been burnt a couple of times, many times. And honestly, a lot of people out there have been burnt, but don't block your blessings. If it's there, go for it. Believe in yourself. That's my biggest thing I can say to you right now is believe in yourself. Even when anyone tells you you're not going to make it, take it as a pat on the back. Appreciate that. That means I'm going to. Yeah. Right? So anyway, um, what I ended up doing was going out and gutting a garage renting it from her um, and turned it into my vision, you know? And it wasn't just my vision. I did it also, as I was telling her before, was this was a place for all the misfits. All of the other trainers that, same concept. I want to, I want to, but I can't eat. I'm taking money, they're taking money from me. They won't let me train the client the way I want to train them, or the way they want to be trained, right? So, okay, so I'm a, Take that vision, my vision, and I'm also going to allow everyone else to become more. So I know that was a big rant, but um, <laughs> that it. was kind of like the, the what's it, the synopsis? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> synopsis of what physically embodies. Um, biggest thing you'll say is, or well, you'll hear me say to people is, but did you die? Yeah. And I know that's kind of like, oh, <laughs> but it's honestly, is that if you have breath in your lungs, if you have this working, and again, that's a big concept too, is your body is not going to do anything that your mind, it starts here. That is the main component. Physically, it starts here, your mental, because it's like that locomotive. It won't do anything if there's no steam into it, all right? So uh, that kind of wraps it up and kind of tells you about Jamil. <laughs> But, um, yeah. I love it. I love it. And Jamil, so of course, like I said, over the past few years, knowing you, following you even on social media, you know, I know, <laughs> right? I know that you have gone through just a lot of different challenges and ups and downs and, you know, disappointments and all of that. So what through the, this time and now you're at this point where you are sitting in your vision, Right? I mean, let's just even let that sit for a moment, <laughs> that's right? That's, that's, that, that, right? Uh, let's that fit in, man. Yeah. Hey. What would you say you learned about yourself? What's important to you? What did you learn and take away from just the journey of this? First off, one of the biggest things she just said was journey. Mm -hmm. That was actually one of my concepts. Mm -hmm. Life is a journey. Mm -hmm. Everything is a journey. We have the same concepts. We have the same, not a product of my environment. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be. Okay, if that's what I chose to be, I could have done that. Chose different. I actually, the biggest things for me was I finally hit a point that okay, if I have everyone else against me, why am I going to do it against myself? We are biggest enemies at, at times, we hold ourselves back. The fear, the thoughts of what everyone else has stated. So, I would say through the hiccups and through everything, I learned who Jamil was. I learned that no matter what. This can crush any hate. Mm -hmm. This can motivate anyone to be more, right? If I can be real on my page physically, you'll see me cry. Yeah. You'll see me talk about some real stuff. Yeah. Um, you'll see me be different. I'm not that trainer you might, we were talking about earlier, you see the shirt off, wow. And again, everyone's different. That's just not me. Why? Because again, I want, I need everyone to understand I'm human. And there's a, everyone here is human. No one's better than the left or the right. You just never know where you're gonna be at, right? So what I learned was through this, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I had a child through this, born on the grand opening day. <laughs> he was supposed to be another whole month. 
whole month. <laughs> Literally a whole month. Decided, I'm here. Yep. <laughs> I'm here. And he talked about the strength. Um, we were talking about that earlier. It, it showed me how resilient I can actually be. Mm. It showed me what I didn't see in myself, what everyone else was seeing. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, I'll be real. I invested. I put money in here and stuff like that to the point that I was either a choice of my living situation or this. Wow. To be 100% honest, I chose this mm. to the point that I almost could have lived in my car. And again, we have kids. We have all the above. It was one or the other. Do I want to keep sinking? Yeah. Or am I going to take that step of faith, right? And the mm. vision is it's aligning. Mm. So I did, to the point of, and I'll be 100% honest with you, losing things, wow. um, picking and choosing what I had to pay to get to my vision, and I did it. Wow. It's still going, it's yeah. still pushing. Months later, still pushing, still here. We're still here. Yes. That's the concept of physique elite. You're still here, you're still pushing. But did you die? No, because you're here. You still <laughs> made it. Yes. If anything can say that, that it's like, yo, it's okay. You might have some slip ups. You might have some falls. But everything in your life, your journey, in a sense, people say this, why me? Why not you? Mm. Every experience, everything is a journey. Everything is a path. I don't have to be a product of my, my, my environment. She didn't. Right. And... She glowing, y'all. Yes. I'm gonna be real. When yes. I first met her, we was over with John. I'm like, yo, I see it. I see the shine. That's so true. But it's a half a shine. That's so true. But, not. but yes, so true. It, it's no yes. concept. So yes. I know it's about. It's supposed to be about what I wrote. But the pivotal moment is we both had pivotal moments. We both had moments that we pushed each other again. Yes. I get up and I'm like, okay, she's still going, she's still moving. Yeah. I gotta do it. Yeah. So I would say that was the biggest struggle wow. was allowing me to be me. Mm. And not fearing everything else that the world fight for. House, car, blah blah. Those all mean important things to me, right? Yeah. But sometimes you do, you gotta sacrifice what John Jacob Jimmer Heimer and Smith got. Yep. Stop focusing on their life and focus on what's going to create more. And people need to really hear that because so many people, I know those that, whether you're listening to this, whether you're watching this, you, I know you're pushing for your dream, you're getting frustrated, and you need to hear exactly what you're sharing. Like, like you said, like, I had to make choices. I yeah. had to choose home or vision. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm <Freeze>. so. <laughs> your dream though right yes i mean it's just that simple like are, what are you willing to let go of and sacrifice to pursue your vision and to your dream it. and yeah. as everyone might not think you see these whatever else, i grew up the fat kid i grew up the the mix so i didn't belong to this i didn't belong to that all the above it didn't matter i've, I've lost people same way i'm pretty sure everyone out here yeah. understand this be real stop selling Fake news. We get enough fake news with CNN and all of above everything else, yes, right? Yes, so yes. you know how much more you can actually reach the people for being real, being blunt. I'm hurting. I'm crying. Now that concept with that. When you heard me say that, hey, when I started learning how to allow my emotions, because I was taught a man ain't supposed to cry. Yep. I'm teaching my son, hey, it's okay to cry. Get the emotion out. Understand yep. that. Why do you feel this way, right? So. My biggest vision, if I can say, and I said it to you earlier, is you never know who's watching. So, to be realistic, say something happens and I'm not here tomorrow or whatever else. My concept is, if no one knows Jamil physically, right? Mm -hmm. But the legacy, if I leave behind, if they can see my messages, they can see and they mm -hmm. say, yo, I feel like I know him from that mission accomplished. Mm. I leave off on that note. I, I really, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, like where do you go from there? Well, so before we wrap it up, 
as if you haven't just shared, like you said, your, your soul anyway. What do you want to leave people with? What, if you could say your final message to those who are just receiving this show right now, what is that message? Go back to your passion, okay? And understand that you're going to have a lot of people that say that it's not going to work because their dreams didn't work. Their visions didn't work because in the same sense, they might have gave up. They might not have had a choice or anything else like that, but we actually all have a choice. During COVID, perfect example of that, you saw a lot of people actually going back and learning traits, doing, picking back up and doing things that they want to do before. So if I can say for anything and do what you love, don't fake it. And knowledge, knowledge, again, I'll go back to that, is power. That's something no one will ever be able to take from me, no matter what. I'll be real, I could lose my arm, I could lose my legs. I won't lose my knowledge. My knowledge now comes into my will. So. You right now out there, right? Hand on that chest, you feel it? Feel how I keep going up and down? So, if you still have that in your lungs, no matter what is going on, then you have a chance, you have a fighting chance. You actually have a fighting chance. So that's what I can leave off for anyone is, don't give up, no matter what the cards, my, my tattoo down here that actually says that, it says, Life is how you play them. You cannot, you cannot control what you're dealt. Can't. As much as we want to. Good, bad things happen to good people. Bad things happen to bad people. Good right. things happen to bad people. Good things happen to bo it's both sides, right? Yeah. But again, in this life, you can control how you play the cards, though. Mm -hmm. Again, I cannot control how I'm always dealt. And when I actually learned that, I used to find justice for no reason, not no reason, but I was just like, no, I'm not gonna, but it's that concept. If I can control, I can't control how it dealt, but I can control how I play them, mm -hmm. win. Wow. And that's what I can leave you with. Amazing. I am no, so excited for what you've got thank going you. on. Yes. And also, yeah, share. So how can people, I mean, y'all, I know y'all want to get more of this. Right. <laughs> so, so how can they find you? <laughs> <laughs> Physically, I am on Facebook. Um, and the same thing with uh, IG. And I'm going to be 100% honest, and this is going to become real for you. I'm not this. I'm that person I've always been. I was like, I don't want to put my face on the thing. I don't want to be that. I, I don't like <laughs> being in the camera. I really don't. Yeah. But um, physically, IG, uh, Facebook as well. I'm actually, she, she the first one to know about it, stuff like that. Um, YouTube. So we're, we're actually coming out with some YouTube uh different episodes, things like that. There will be mind, body, soul, oh all God. the above. Um, same concept, doing some kids training a lot more now. Uh, also as well, get out your comfort zones. I'm mean, That's another thing I wanna put out is because um, I actually got hit up with an opportunity as well for maybe to be in the next Black Panther 3. So that would be a blessing. Uh, Again, yeah. when you let your light shine, you sublimity allow other people to do the same. So that's what I'm gonna do. In the beginning, again, I, this is my practice for it. Cause I'll be real, I told her this before we got on the book. If I don't hear, I'm nervous. This whole time I've been nervous. I don't like, I don't like the, the dungeon. Yeah. But if I'm going to change this, help change this yeah. world with other pivotal people. Yes. Yes. I gotta let that light shine. And you gonna let your light shine. We gonna let our light shine. And then now we gotta fall. <laughs> yes. A bright, bright future. Yes. So. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah, thank you. You got amazing stuff happening. No, I appreciate you so much, yes. so much. Because the same concept. You never know who lights a little fire under your butt again when you. It might have been burning out, and that's okay to understand too. Yes. You know, understand people need help. People need support. Wow. Well, and you supported me and lighted a little fire in my hand. Oh. And now I know I can do. Anything, you sure can. anything, truly, you sure and so can. can you. Yes, yes. You, yes, you right there. <laughs> Y'all you know, be playing. Like, no, right. Yes, well, for those of you who are watching, you see all the links. If you're listening, the links are in the show notes. I am super excited. Right. Definitely follow Jamil Physique Elite. Yes, 
I mean, again, it's just, it's an honor no, it's and the support. And y'all, he supports me all the time with just, even sometimes the, the messages that you just give me that validation, like, yes, keep I'm going. glad, yes, keep, keep going. going. Thank you for sharing this. Like, you never know what someone is going yes. through that moment, that That's time, exactly. that day. Do you understand how much that can actually change people? Wow. I'm just going to go not dark, but real. Yeah. It's real. Do you understand that sometimes when people are like, oh, well, no, I don't want to do it. I'm going to post it and post it up. You could have just changed somebody's life. Yeah. Right then and there, their phone could have been ready to, yeah. and hey, you can do this. Yeah. You can turn into, I can do this. I can do this. Yeah. Sorry, I <sighs> Sorry, but yeah. yeah. Um, it's so true. In fact, I got a message not the other day. Somebody, and it, the funny thing I was telling a friend like, you know, sometimes you you get caught up in like, oh, this didn't get a lot of likes and shares and all that. I did a post, I think it had 20 likes. Mm -hmm. Someone reached out to me and told me that post changed her life. That yeah. post, 20 yeah. likes. But she was, I don't even know if she liked it, but it impacted her, it changed her life. So like you said, you never know you what never you're saying know. or doing, the impact you leave on people's lives. And I'm just so excited about the impact you're leaving. Oh, there, this is just the beginning for both of us. Yes. You know how uh, you see sometimes through the world or whatever else, you see Oprah or some of the other people, whatever else, and they be like, hey girl, remember when we were younger, <laughs> blah, blah. So I'm marking this right now. Yeah, go on. This is a pivotal moment that one day, literally at some awards, even it, some it. awards, yes. some big summit. Yes. Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like that. Yep, and I receive it all. <laughs> all right, we're gonna let y'all go. And once again, thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Jamil. No problem. And thank you thank guys. You. Yes, thank of you. Of course. Um, I didn't do it. And uh, anyone that follows me know I always do this with this, so I gotta do it this way. All right. How y'all doing today? We say it all at once, blessed, and I'm leave off with that. So y'all need to understand that when y'all see my page, so it's not new to y'all. Of like, oh my god, I'm yelling, blessed, 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 blessed. All right, y'all.